emotional body creates the physical template. All illness uh, starts in the emotional field without exception. If it's a genetic mutation that starts in the emotional field and it is something that has been so uh, generously left behind by one of your uh, ancestors, all right? They had a big emotional issue, a block. It altered the genetic material and that got passed down through the genetic line. Many people carry with them, even throughout their lives, even unto their deathbed, resentments and guilt and worry and that is where all physical illness comes from 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 these negative emotions that people nurture even it all goes back to the emotions because the emotional body creates the physical reality so if you're talking about weight and health you know how you are feeling about yourself is determining uh, your physical body more so than what you're consuming and how you're exercising which is a very different way of thinking for many of you because you're conditioned to think that it's all physical but it's not it's all emotional make no mistake there is no thing as a generic human being you come from such a different platform different lives different cultures and you arrive in this culture some of you may wish to only eat one kind of a thing some of you wish to eat another do what your body feels best with that results in the most energy and the most appropriateness for you at the deepest level in the human psyche there is this archetype called separation and is based on the fact that you separate yourself from source when you choose to become born and everyone has that experience over and over and over every lifetime that you choose to be incarnated you are experiencing separation separation from source separation from unconditional love separation from the light separation separation i feel disconnected i feel separated something's missing in my life the desire for something transcendent becomes very very strong and instead of seeking it authentically within through one's spirituality, people will often seek it through external substances and mind-altering substances. Seeking something transcendent through the use of drugs and alcohol. Which usually represents a belief system in the person that thinks something is missing that needs to be replaced by something artificial. If that doesn't exist as a belief, then you will find that people will naturally naturally ingest whatever food or liquid is in keeping with their best benefit. Many of them are using uh, to numb, all right? They don't want to feel the pain, yes. All right, some, some are very empathic, all right? And they are very in tune with what's going on with the planet, with other people, and it's too much for them to handle. They don't want to feel it because um, they're not clearing out their own field, all right? They're taking it on, and that's, that's a choice. You don't have to take on others' energy. You can be aware, you can be one who is sensitive, but that doesn't mean that it is your responsibility to take it on.